Hi guys and welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade and this is the day in the life of my kitchen. So these were a different kind of stuffed potato. <laughs> Tea cakes. Ooh. The autumn spices in there as well. I've actually done this video before in a little haul while we was at it. Discount Dragon came, so yeah. I am really miffed about I'm not going to give you the recipe because I do have the video with the original recipe so I'll just link that underneath for you it doesn't matter how many times I wipe out the bottom of this blooming bread machine yeah does it just ends up like that again it just drives me batty it must be on the you know the mixing cycle when it first mixes it So for everything to go into this, to put everything in, it literally took five minutes. And I always use the dough cycle. Always. I could, um, you could if you haven't got one of these, obviously. Use the dough hook on a stand mixer or do it by hand. A lot of people love to knead by hand. But there's no way, number one, I could stand there long enough to knead this for a good ten minutes. And there's no way my arms could do it so yeah so it's had its um need it's also had its first proof in the bread machine there's me just um wondering if it's going to come out <laughs> i thought it was going to have a disaster but once i moved it it actually just all come out a little bit left on that corner there so that was good this is such a nice soft dough i've I always do the voiceover for these the mornings of and I've literally just eaten these, <laughs> not all of them, I've, me and the kids, I'm lying, Amy didn't eat it. I bought some that I swore I never would, Nutella, yeah, and now I'm going to have to stop buying it because she likes it a bit too much. I knew this would happen, that's why I, all these years I refused to buy it but whatever. Anyway, getting distracted. <laughs> Me, Caitlin and Steve have had these. And I've got to say, they were really nice. Nice change. I wouldn't normally have breakfast. But when these are about, or the cinnamon raisin bread as well. I've got, re got a recipe for that, if you want that linked. That's one of the most viewed videos, I think, on my channel. The cinnamon raisin bread. But yeah, these are a family favourite as well. So these are a good size. I'm going to make eight. I cannot roll bread buns. I really can't. So that's the best I can get. I left them to prove for half an hour in the kitchen covered. My oven is on preheat. Baking four to a tray. And gas five. I think it was five. Anyway, tea cakes. Lovely jubbly. So nice. Slathered in butter. Like I said, I will link the original recipe down below for you. I did actually do a brownie recipe. But that failed, so I had to take it out of this. You were supposed to have a brownie recipe. See, some things do go wrong for me. Hey guys, thought I'd put this in because it's just been delivered. This is from Discount Dragon. Um, now, Discount Dragon, I forgot to check out the other night. This is a different order. The entire first page was all reduced down to a penny or 49 pence. And I'm talking about stuff like these. All of it was down to a penny. But I forgot to check out and now everything's gone back up to full price. So I advise you, if you do shop at Discount Dragon or you want to get some baggins, then um, make sure you check out when you see them. So I got two of the Skittles Squishy Cloud, soft and airy. So these are sours. I got two of the pack of 10 lunchbox minis 
both the girls like these and now they don't have to be refrigerated it's cured got two packs of the dime nuggets I figured that'd be nice and ice cream or on top of a cheesecake these are like I think these are about 49p but these were down to a penny as well so these are 49p I've not tried these might not like them Snickers triple treat date raisin and peanut bar topped with peanuts dipped and drizzled in milk chocolate fruit and fruit nut and chocolate date raisin and peanut bar topped with fudge pieces dipped and drizzled in milk chocolate for those over 75% fruit and nut high in fiber so I've seen these on a few discount sites but none of them had them at the 49 pence that I got them for so the picture they had on the website of this fruit cake was well packed with fruit and I think I've counted five raisins on this <laughs> but whatever it's still going to get eaten at any rate um, it's got some cherries in there as well um, it just says a moist sponge cake with re real vine fruits and that gear list on the front got two of the galaxy smooth orange If I remember, remember the price somewhat off the top of my head, then I'll tell you. This is um, obviously a decent brand of olive oil. It says 500 mils, and this was, I think it was 1.99 or 2.99. But as you can see, it's still cheaper than shop price anyway. Caramel drops for Steve's coffee. I think these were 49 pence as well. When we find raw cane sugar, I think this was 99 pence, that's 500 grams. A llama caramel flavour cake mix. Cut out decorations inside. Thought I'd try that. Just add oil, milk, eggs. And I also got a Mr. Kipling chocolate cupcake mix. Steve loves his uh, vanilla fudge, so I thought I'd get him a bit of fudge. These were 99 pence. Jude strawberry, strawberry coolie. Got two of those. We've not had that before. We've had the chocolate sauce and caramel. This was a pound. Hellman's Mayo. I don't particularly like them in the squeezy bottle because I don't think you can get everything out of a squeezy bottle. And that was 750 mils. Then I've got the light Madagascan vanilla custard. Jude's as well. And last, this reminds me of when me and Steve went to Salou in Spain. Um, and these were 99p for six. They are not now. But yeah, they're still on there. I don't doubt maybe tomorrow or another day they'll have them again at a different price. So 99p for six. So I bought in two of those. Is that half a pint? Small can. Just a small can. I don't know. But I do remember we got that giant plastic um, bottle thing, didn't we, with that straw? Mm. Days before the kids, I'm going back. 2009. Yeah, it was 2009 when we went there, Steve. Anyway, yeah, 99p for six, so I bought him two packs of those, thought I may as well. So yeah, we'll get back to the day in the life. <clears throat> these are the spicy beef potatoes, and these were so good. We'd not had this before. So there's 500 grams of mince. You can see I've got a piece of India sausage there. I don't care if that's how you pronounce it. That's all that comes up in my brain. But you can see to, to the bottom of the screen, it, the spelling is there for it. Um, I had some, that's a 40 gram slice. I had a lot of, there's my dog, my bacon supplies. 
a lot of um, gusto and we used to get it in that and this was before I built up my tolerance to anything spicy um, so I put it in the freezer when I got it from gusto and I thought well I'll use it in this oh 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 what can I tell you you can buy this you can buy it in a jar it's a cured smooth sausage you can buy it in a jar I got mine from Amazon and it lasts for ages it's it I would say yes it's on a little bit on a pricey side but but you don't use a lot at a time and you could put this into a designated like um, ice cube tray I am going to put the recipe below and I'm not having through it um, and portion it up that way and freeze it and then put it into a baggie so you wouldn't have any problems with it like once open going off or anything like that this stuff just melts it really does melt I mean as soon as it's touched that other meat look the colouring is going into that meat that's flavour and I expected this to be so spicy and it wasn't anyway you could either use that's 500 grams of beef I used garlic chives but you can use normal garlic so this is a 40 gram under your slice you could use as I say the one in the jar which I have in the, have in the fridge I can give you a link to it should you want that um, or if you have it which more people might have a table one and a half tablespoons of harissa paste you could use that but this and sausage has such a unique flavor all of its own I think it's wonderful so that's in there cooking I've chopped up very small and these are very small pieces this is because they look a bit bigger because we're zoomed in but there were very small pieces of carrot onion celery and mushroom there's me just put it, put it on the bottom of the pan so it dissolves so now I'm adding in some very small chopped um, cabbage the original recipe is for kale so if you like kale then I would suggest using that so keep just stirring it this is not going to take long once you've mixed it in pop the lid on for five minutes and you should be good to go I'd say about one and a half tablespoons tomato puree there's about half a teaspoon here of nigella seeds don't need to have these and the beef stock is um, 250 mils that I'm going to add in here once I've mixed this in and then once you've got the stock in give it a stir pop your lid on this just gives it flavour more than anything it's not for a sauce if you get what I mean makes it more beefy I'm still going in making sure everything's dissolved it was very quick to make didn't take long at all if you don't want spicy leave out a the harissa or b the indu sausage whichever you choose to use there goes the lid turn it down to a simmer just for five minutes so while this is cooking you want four pota baked potatoes just cook them the way you would normally do and then what you want to do is that meat doesn't take long to cook by the way just leave it to the side if your potatoes are not quite done so your potatoes we've used four larger ones excuse the uh, microwave tray that I'm using it didn't come with a microwave it's from a really really old one it just saves marking up the bottom of my uh, microwave anyway off a oh, bit off kilter there <laughs> scoop out your potatoes but be careful not to, not to break them so there they are I'm just going to spray them just with a touch of oil there and I want to put them back in mine is a three-in-one microwave so it's got an oven built in I'm putting them in to basically crisp them up a little bit before I put the filling in for the filling the meat's cooked the potato skins are doing now the potato is simple it's just some butter or margarine whichever one you want to put in some milk 
and then some grated cheese. Just mix it in. I do not use, I very rarely, I say do not, I very rarely use measurements when I'm just cooking at home for myself, as I'm sure you guys don't as well. Um, Again. Oh, bless her. She was waiting for the cheese. She knew the cheese was there. Anyway, that meat's been cooked. And at this point, it's cooled down a little bit. So all I'm doing now is I've got them potato shells. And they're a lot firmer now. Crisp. Which allows me to fill them easy without worrying that they're going to split. So I'm just filling them with this mixture. There was some left by the end of this. And all we did was... Um, when we dished up the potatoes, you, you can see I'm really filling them up here. When we served our potatoes, we just reheated that little bit that was left and just popped it on top. You could, so you can see, just topping them with the mashed potato. You could skip the jacket potatoes, cook the whole base as it was. Um, and then just top it with some mashed potato if you wanted and then bake it in the oven you could do it that way or maybe cook the meat lay the meat out on a baking tray lined pop some potatoes cooked on top sliced in half like they are now but put them on top of the meat and line them up and then when you flip them over it already looks like this that was steve's idea but yeah they're going into the oven they were so good, guys. They really were. So the look when they come out of the oven. Cheesy cheddar mash. And like I said, we did put that on the end as well. Pour the remainder on top as well. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. The recipes will be listed below. And let me know what you thought, whether you're going to try it for yourself. Thank you to the new members as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.